More snow on the way to central and eastern Kentucky. We've got the latest snowfall forecast and the potential for historical cold in just a moment. Digging out from the winter storm. Many main roads are looking better, but we'll take you to some of the streets in Lexington where drivers will have some challenges. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News at 6. Good evening to you. Thanks for being here with us. Many people spent the day digging out after yesterday's winter storm, but our break from the snow won't last much longer. That's right. More snow is headed to the bluegrass late tonight and tomorrow, and it's followed by historic cold weather, history making weather. We begin tonight with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey on the first alert severe weather day. We just can't catch a break. No, we're not going to catch a break for a long while the way it stands now. This is one of those weeks to where you're going to remember this for years and years. To come. Winter weather advisory is out for the entire bluegrass state, as you mentioned, for the potential for more snow. I think this is a widespread two to four inch snowfall coming in later tonight into tomorrow. And it will be a powdery snow that will blow around a lot as we expect winds tomorrow to gust to 30 and 35 miles per hour at times. Live first alert defender, nothing showing up across most areas now. Maybe a little snowflake coming from the clouds here into the Covington, Cincinnati area up into Dayton. Some snow showers west of Indianapolis. That's not what I'm worried about. What I'm really watching, the stuff that is developing across Kansas City into parts of Kansas. That is a potent little disturbance that is working its way on toward the east now. It's getting ready to kind of turn the corner and make its way eastbound on 64. It's an Arctic system that will, yes, unleash the uh, bitterly cold stuff behind it, but also kind of gives the atmosphere a little bit of a lift in terms of getting that air to rise as we go into the day tomorrow. That in itself will produce additional rounds of snow first thing tomorrow morning. So this is another high impact winter weather event. Travel will go downhill quickly early tomorrow. Snowfall, no, it's not going to be like what we just had, but it's going to be a lot on top of what we just had. Two to four inches on top of uh, the better than a foot still on the ground in some areas. Cold and wind will also be a major, major player. Those gusts tomorrow 30 to 35 miles an hour, but it is the cold that is going to get everyone's attention and for the right reason. Guys, I'm tracking the potential for record cold. We will compare the temperatures coming up to the history of records in Lexington, and I'll show you how those numbers are comparable to some of the coldest days ever here in Kentucky. Thank you, Chris. Dozens of school districts have already canceled classes tomorrow, including Fayette County. Check the bottom of your screen for that list. A short time ago, Lexington Mayor Jim Gray gave us an update on the city's response to the winter storm and its aftermath. Jordan Valines continues our live team coverage with the mayor's message to the city. Jordan? That's right. During today's press conference, the mayor, along with several other city officials, discussed an array of issues that will affect Lexington, people who live in Lexington, over the next few days, even the next week. Now, because of the cold temperatures forecasted for later this week, the mayor said that waste collection has been pushed back for routes normally collected Monday. Garbage will now be picked up this Saturday. Business collection will begin tomorrow where possible, and waste management will resume a regular pickup schedule next week. The mayor is also urging folks to move their cars parked on major roadways in order to help road crews and waste pickup trucks. He's also asking people to be patient while these temporary changes are in place. We have a lot of people anxious, we know, to get their streets cleared. And today is the time that we'll ask for patience. Now, city officials also wanted us to pass along the word that warming shelters are still open for folks who need it. Live in Lexington, Jordan Valines, WKYT. Jordan, thank you. While the main roads around Lexington are in good shape, just getting to them has been a challenge for drivers. Most neighborhood streets are still snow covered and many cars are getting stuck. Miranda Combs continues our live first alert weather team coverage. It is tough for many folks. Miranda. It sure is right now. And Amber, a lot of people may have seen piles of snow like this at the front of their neighborhood this morning when they left for work, if they did go to work. But not to worry, help is on the way. This may look like a reminder of what we saw falling most of the day yesterday, but this is actually the cleanup process for Scott Lambert. It's great for three inches of snow, but not so much for what we got here. He hasn't left his house since the storm hit, but says he'll head out tomorrow. I got to dig my way out, but it's kind of goes with the territory. And he's prepared for a bumpy neighborhood commute. Yeah, it makes it 
It's going to be hard to get over this hump unless I dig my way out. Street and road crews have a good handle on the main roads, but it's touch and go for side streets and neighborhoods. Rob Allen with Streets and Road says that's an unfortunate side effect of big snows. Big piles now line neighborhood entrances where residents are ready to exit. Once I'm out, you know, I just go to this corner and I'm practically out of the neighborhood, you know, but if I was way back in the neighborhood, I'd worry about it. So, so as cabin fever sets in and residents want out, Allen says keep in mind this cleanup will take time. I used to live in Alaska, so this isn't much snow, but, you know, but I'm not used to it anymore either, so, I mean, you know. We've noticed being out here that just in the past little bit as the sun has started to set, these side roads have gotten even more slick for drivers. It's going to take some time for road crews to get to all of these side roads, so the best advice is take your time if you need to get out on these roads. We're live in Lexington. Miranda Combs, WKYT. Yeah, patience is definitely needed in yeah, all of this. Slow down. Yeah. Yep. Well, tonight, many parking lots are just as bad as those neighborhood streets. But some businesses are doing what they can to clear the way for customers. Kristen Kennedy shows us. We saw a lot of plows combing parking lots in Lexington Tuesday. In this kind of weather, their drivers often work 10 or 12 hour shifts. This time I've been going for 12 hours. And I only had and then two hours sleep on another 10 hour shift. Subcontractor David Black fights the fatigue. For him, more snow means more money. Go to the next business, plow the rest of the day, and then salt all night. Snow removal crews say the hardest part of doing this kind of work is finding a place to put all the snow. Yeah, I try to clear it so you can get out because if I just run down through there, you're not more than likely that car is not going to come out of there. Maneuvering through the snow is an art for black because trying to drive around parked or snowed in cars often makes a lot like an obstacle course. I mean, that's the hard part, but. Uh, Plow and plow and plow. In Lexington, Kristen Kennedy, WKYT. And be on alert for mounds of snow piled up outside many businesses today. Snow plowers ask that you try to park away from those mounds of snow to allow them to keep piling snow in that area if they have to. A tractor trailer became stuck on Interstate 75 in Lexington, tying up traffic. It happened in the southbound lanes near mile marker 99. Police say the truck hit a snow pile next to an embankment and was stuck. At one point, the truck blocked one lane, but police say traffic should be getting back to normal shortly. Tonight, the Fayette County Coroner says two deaths in the last few days could be cold weather related. Early Sunday morning, a woman was found dead outside her apartment, and this morning, a man was found dead inside an abandoned mobile home on Loudoun Avenue. In both cases, the coroner says the deaths were caused by exposure, alcohol intoxication, or a combination of both. The snow and cold made it harder for Lexington firefighters to battle a house fire today. Firefighters were called to a home on Wallingford Court just before noon. They they say three people inside the home got out safely. The homeowner says he tried to put out the fire, but it quickly got out of control. And I got hit and throwed it on it. And it wasn't too bad then. And then I had a, a great big pan of water that I throwed it on. And I went outside and got some snow, just up some snow and throwed on it. Nothing would stop it. At this point, investigators are not sure what caused the fire. In southern Kentucky, the main roads are improving tonight. Road crews worked through the night to clear snow off Interstate 75 and other major highways around Corbin. But some roads are still snow covered, especially in rural areas and in neighborhoods. Some travelers became stuck in a gas station parking lot, so workers helped them get out. There's no strangers. If you can help somebody in Kentucky, you help them. A state of emergency is still in place by the governor for many counties, also in southern Kentucky. Some people who couldn't get out of snow-covered neighborhoods in Danville received some help today from the Center College football team. And as Phil Pendleton tells us, it happened before most people in the neighborhood were even awake. At 502 Grant Street in Danville, Susan McGilligan opened her door early this morning. It was amazing. I just had all these wonderful boys out here. A senior Center College player decided he wanted to spend his Tuesday morning helping others. Typical of the football team and their attitudes towards life and everything that they do. So senior Alex Mattingly got his teammates to snow shovel more than 20 driveways throughout Danville. It felt good giving back, to be honest, you know. I mean, 
Everybody likes to help everybody out. Now, I said snow shoveling, but that is not exactly entirely accurate. <laughs> We didn't have snow shovels. That's right. Well, actually, three shovels for more than 20 guys. So what did they use? Tupperware lids, chairs. A guy took two dust pans and taped them on each end of a broomstick. <laughs> the funniest thing was a kid using a traffic cone to try to clean off the driveway. That was, that was pretty funny. Hardly the tools of the trade, but it got the job done in Boyle County. Well, when you're with your team and you're doing something like this, it's impossible not to have fun. Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Boy, you give those guys a lot of credit for getting it done. The center coaching staff tells us that this project is instilling the virtues that they want their team members to have. Well, close call today for assault truck driver in Owen County. Check out this eyewitness picture sent to us from Kentucky 227 near Owenton. The plow truck ran off the road with the front end over an embankment. The tow truck wasn't able to pull it out of a ditch until this morning. The state transportation cabinet tells us the driver was okay and already is back at work. Well, you've seen it on the ground, but from the air, it can get a much different look at the snow. Yeah, Officer Don flew over Lexington, getting some unique views from Sky First. Jennifer Palumbo gives us the tour. One day after Lexington's fourth snowiest day on record, the city is digging out and trying to get back to normal. As Officer Don flies toward downtown, you can see rooftops covered in a blanket of snow, but the main roads are pretty clear. Lexington officially had 10 and a half inches, but Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey had many reports of a foot of snow in parts of the city. This is inbound Bryan Station Road near New Circle. On the UK campus, classes are canceled, but crews are working to get Commonwealth Stadium ready for football season. But they're not working today. You can see a large piece of equipment on the field. The normally green field is completely white. And Fayette Mall off Nicholasville Road is usually a busy place, but not today. The mall is closed because of road conditions, but says department stores and restaurant hours may vary. In Lexington, Jennifer Palumbo, WKYT.